Superior State University recently announced the creation of its College of the Great Lakes Ecology and Education. And today the Lieutenant Governor was in the Eastern UP to see how the university is expanding education in the community. Lieutenant Governor Gilchrist toured LSSU Center for Freshwater Research and Education. Along with its labs and offices for researchers, the center has space for public outreach and a discovery center for students in kindergarten through 12th grade. I met some elementary school students from Cedarville. We're here to talk with them about just how much fun they've had, what they're learning. Um, it's really inspirational because having that kind of exposure as a young person, then these will become the undergrads that'll study here. They'll become the graduate students that'll study here at the new college. And so um, I am impressed. It's, it's beautiful and it, it really is so connected to something that's so important for the state of Michigan. Researchers will be looking at things like the impact of invasive species or how to respond to possible oil spills. Students can enroll in LSSU's College of the Great Lakes Ecology and Education starting in the fall 2023 semester. Um, where Seafree is really going to be leading the charge at one of our, our fish and wildlife programs and also bringing in that education aspect to give them, you know, that place-based learning for our undergraduate students. And at the same time, we're going to be finally offering, you know, a, a master's program, hopefully, for our fisheries and wildlife students. So um, a great time for him to come through. He's super excited. Um, you know, he, ha he has a lot of passion, clearly, for the Great Lakes and, and the important resources we have here. And uh, we're really at the center of it here at Seafree. So perfect time for him to come and he's very yeah very excited for sure. While in the UP the Lieutenant Governor also toured the new Sulox construction site with the Army Corps of Engineers and the site of the Sulox housing project.